this is gonna be a pretty short video because it's freaking cold. <laughs> So right here behind me is Seminole, and uh, he's got his nose <laughs> stuck up through the ice. It's frozen over. Winter is here, and it is showing out in Georgia. You know, I don't like being hot, but I don't complain about summer temperatures because I hate winter so much. I don't like it getting dark early. That's probably the worst thing. I don't like it getting cold, and I don't like the trees looking dead. Now this is a cedar tree behind me. It's an evergreen, so love these guys because they're green all year long. But people always often ask, you know, it's so cold, how do you keep your reptiles warm? Well, um, we've got some different buildings here. One is our tortoise building, and uh, then we have our snake building. And um, we heat both of those with propane. That way, if we have a winter storm, for whatever reason, electricity goes out, I may be cold, <laughs> but the reptiles are nice and warm. And uh, you know, if I do have a power outage, which I had yesterday, I will be going to the snake building <laughs> to get warm. So that's, that's the plan. But we also have some reptiles that stay outside all year long. And they're pretty cool. And they can actually handle this cold weather. Now, uh, the ones I'm talking about is the American alligator. Now, if I had caimans here, which I've had before, caimans, crocodiles, they can't really handle the cold like the American alligator can. It's pretty amazing what this animal can do. Uh, so when the temperature drops, the American alligator does something pretty cool. When it's in the water, it'll surface as the temperature is nearing 32 degrees and it will stick its nose above the water <laughs> and then the water can freeze around his snout yeah and he can breathe and he drops his heart rate to like one or two beats per minute and uh that's how he you know gets past these few cold days now here in georgia we don't really have prolonged days of you know the water being frozen over it's usually for a day or two at most and as long as it's a short period like that then they can easily survive it now me, um, if my body temperature drops to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, I can go into hypothermia, okay? Um, alligators have been documented to have body temperatures of 25 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? With it seven degrees below freezing and be able to recover from that and survive. Now, that's pretty harsh for a gator's body temperature to get to 25 degrees Fahrenheit, but they can survive it. Um, now, today, I just looked at the temperature right now here in Georgia. It is an unusual 26 degrees. Last night, it was 11 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so the water that the gators are in right now is not 26 degrees. It's actually much warmer. That's why they're underwater because the water, you know, holds temperature better. And so it's actually pretty cold water. I don't want to get in. I don't want to fall in this, but uh, it's actually warmer than the air temperature. So these gators extend their nose up and can breathe and survive in this water. And it's absolutely amazing what these, how resilient these animals are. Now inside the building, we've got our little gators. Now our little gators, they can't survive this really cold weather. And that's why this far north in Georgia, above, above the fall line where I live, we don't have naturally occurring breeding populations of alligators. Alligators can survive here, but the babies, can't do very well in the wild in this part of Georgia where I live. A little further south, they do just fine. Um, Georgia has about 250,000 American alligators. Florida has more. They have, what, about one and a half million alligators. But Georgia, a quarter million alligators in the wild here in Georgia. Because our reptile building is heated, the indoor alligators are active all year. And uh, so we feed them all year. They grow all year. And, uh, but then this big boy Seminole right here, you know, he's about nine foot long, a little difficult to bring inside. <laughs> so he's going to stay out here with his girlfriend. Uh, she's about five foot long. And, uh, and every year, every winter, it usually freezes over at least one time. And every day it does that, I always come out and check on them and see their little noses sticking up 
above the ice. I don't want to disturb them because this is a pretty uh, delicate state they're in. Don't want to stress them out. So uh, not going to get over there and talk too much around them. Just going to leave them be. But uh, they're going to be just fine. Me, not so much. It's freaking cold <laughs> and I'm going inside right now. <laughs>